Hello everybody and welcome to this week's reflection. Today I want to tell you about a trip I had in the car. So a couple of years ago, on our way home from a family outing, a song came on the radio which is one of my favourites as a teenager. Now I happened to have a bottle of water in my hand and it turned into a microphone. So the radio was on full blast, the windows were open, my husband and kids were unable to contain themselves with laughter as I reenacted the whole song word for word. Afterwards, my husband was teasing me in a nice way about the song that I knew all the words to. You see, there was a reason why he was teasing me as that song is so far removed from the person I am today. The song was flirty and cheeky with tongue-in-cheek lyrics that as a Christian I shouldn't really have been singing. Now the song started a chain of memories in my head of who I used to be. Who I was wasn't particularly bad. I didn't really think of myself as a sinner. I used to love to party, I loved to have a drink and I loved my music. I liked to be different and I experimented with fashion. I was the girl everyone loved, the one who would come and liven up a dead party. I was a typical student really. The thing is though, I grew up with God. I grew up in the church. I decided to follow God at the age of six. But the problem was that I grew up but my faith didn't. I will stress here that I went to a fantastic church in my childhood and was probably part of one of the best children's ministries in the country. I had access to Bibles. I knew who Jesus was. I called myself a Christian. But was I really? You see, I knew how to behave in church. I knew what to do and I knew what to say. I did have faith. I believed in God and the Bible, but I didn't live it, even though I thought I was. And then one day, a friend at university wanted to go to an Alpha course, and she asked me if I would go with her, because she didn't want to go on her own, understandably. And I agreed, but when I got there, I realised I needed the Alpha course more than she did. I realised that I was living Christianity from the outside which didn't affect my thoughts, my feelings or my desires. I went to church once a week and allowed sermons to tickle my ears. I heard the gospel, but I did not allow it to change me. From then on, I decided to become an inside out Christian. I allowed myself to become different, a changed person. It didn't happen overnight. Day by day, hour by hour, over the last 22 years, I have allowed God to change my attitudes, my worldviews and my desires. And it's not been easy. Many a time I have grappled with God in my head, being stubborn me, not wanting that thing to be dealt with. And then when that thing had been dealt with, there would be something else that God would identify. The Bible explains it like this in 2 Corinthians 15 verses 16 to 17. We have stopped evaluating others from a human point of view. At one time we thought of Christ merely from a human point of view. How differently we know him now. This means that anyone who belongs to Christ has become a new person. The old life is gone and a new life has begun. I stopped thinking of God from my own point of view and started looking at him differently. I began a new life in God and I did it properly. I allowed him to change me from the inside out. I allowed him to identify the sin in my life and transform me. Now I'm in no way perfect. There are still days when I fail God and I must apologise to him for what I have done. I need to do it all the time but there is a definite change in me. And it's not just because I got married and had children. It started from the inside. I know how much my thought process has changed. I know how much my attitudes have changed. And that's why my husband was laughing and teasing me about the song, because he had watched the transformation over the last 22 years. 
Let's just pray. Father, I thank you for transforming my life and making me a better person in you. Lord, I pray that you will help us to become inside out Christians and have a real relationship with you. Amen. So that's all I've got time for this week, but I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.